We're Will. And James. Fiancés, world travelers. And your out traveler tour guide. Last year was tough. Vacations were canceled, being replaced with extreme wanderlust and severe cabin fever. Now the world is finally reopening and we are ready to pack our bags, travel across the country, and see how local businesses and communities are ready to welcome back travelers. Join us as we hit the road to visit our favorite LGBTQ destinations because it's time to get back out there. Palm Springs is a really inclusive oasis for the LGBT community, and it's been a few years since we've been here. Every time we've come, we've experienced something new, but one thing remains the same. It's a city where you can truly be yourself, surrounded by a colorful LGBT community. Palm Springs is known for its architecture, the scenic mountain views, and its shopping. Offering a little bit of something for everyone. And although we don't consider ourselves golfers, it's also known as the golf capital of the world. Whether it's indoor or outdoor, there is something for everyone everyone and we're here to see how the community has banded together as they welcome travelers and we get back out there. My name is Tony Torres, co-owner of Bike Palm Springs, the friendliest bike shop in Palm Springs. We're right downtown uh, in the neighborhood. We do rentals, uh, pedal bikes, electric bikes, hybrids, some basic service, repairs, flats. We also do tours with the Palm Springs Historical Society. So for those that are interested in you know, history of Palm Springs, they take you out on a bike and, and talk to you about uh, old movie stars. When the pandemic started, we were really concerned. We've done everything in our hands to keep everybody safe. All the bikes are sanitized, helmets. We just took all the precautions to, to keep everybody safe. Biking was a lot of fun and I feel like we covered a lot of ground. It was a great way to see a lot of Palm Springs. There's an area near downtown Palm Springs that has all these old Hollywood movie star homes and so driving through there was great because you saw these really fancy oasis desert homes. And I love that we went right in the morning because it's not too hot yet. So it was the perfect way to really enjoy the weather. The entire city of Palm Springs is super bike friendly. There are bike lanes on almost every single road. And we had a really great map that shows you all these different pathways you can take to see different stuff. Yeah, we took the Las Palmas Loop and there's eight different options and all of them offer a different variety of sites to see. And our particular loop was just the architecture and just seeing the different Hollywood star homes. It was really interesting to hear more about what this business is doing to make sure they stay safe and stay open during the pandemic. And I'm really looking forward to hearing more. You come to Palm Springs, you're going to find absolutely wonderful restaurants. You're going to find some of the greatest hiking trails, golf courses played by professionals, both men and women, retail stores that uh, are going to charm you with the kinds of products that you won't find anywhere else. But the thing you're going to find in Palm Springs that's just going to blow you away is the incredible people that make up this city. There have been gay and lesbian folks in Palm Springs really since the beginning. But in the 1980s, a group of gay men started coming to Palm Springs and building homes. And they didn't just build homes, they built a community. And today, Palm Springs is the premier destination for LGBT seniors to come and live. And it is the premier destination for LGBT folk of all age to come and enjoy being in a community where you are going to be surrounded by individuals who have lived a life. The friendships that you can make in Palm Springs are some of the greatest friendships that we've ever had in our life and truly make this just a place like no else. We took this pandemic very seriously right from the very beginning. And it was going to be important for our businesses and our community uh, to respond. We want you to be safe when you come to our city. Today has been so exciting and it was an honor to meet with Lisa Middleton to hear more about how the community of Palm Springs has come together. And one thing she mentioned were the businesses and the unique shops that are here in Palm Springs. And so I'm really excited to explore what's here. We are a newly 
open, queer owned, and queer art supporting shop in Palm Springs. So we call it like a lifestyle shop because it's basically everything you could want. So opening critique in the pandemic, it was actually pretty easy. Everyone in the community was really supportive. People were very excited to have something new. We basically received nothing but support from the community since opening. And Palm Springs has still had quite a bit of tourism. So people come through and it's been, it's been working well. It's great to have warmth and sunshine every day, just kind of have nice people around, and it's just so fun here. What did you get? I ordered the Chilean sea bass. It's pretty adventurous. Well, she recommended it, so I wanted to try it. She recommended the Lungini Cheka, which is what I got. So Can we, I have some? we'll have a little bit of bite of each other's. Mm, what is that? That's a key lime pie martini. So good. It's your favorite dessert. It's essentially key lime pie in a glass. And there's a graham cracker rim. <laughs> That's dessert. Can I try your sea bass? Sure. Oh my gosh. Is it good? Wow. Yours is good. Is there like a glaze on that? What is that? I don't know what's on it, but it it's did not so go good. My first impression of Lulu's was just how colorful it was. It felt very inviting, especially with how friendly the staff was. The moment we walked in, everyone was so hospitable and ready to greet us, and it just made us feel really welcome. I really appreciated how robust the menu was. There were so many options, so it was really hard to make up our mind. <laughs> Oh gosh, the key lime pie martini was so delicious. I love key lime pie. And never did I realize you can make it into an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> and it definitely was the highlight, I would say, of my entire meal. I'll probably need to learn how to make it at home. Yes. When Melissa, our waitress, brought out the cotton candy, <laughs> we lit up like we were kids in a candy shop. We did not expect that, but it was very welcome. But I also can't remember the last time that I had cotton candy, but I enjoyed every second of it. And I don't think that I would normally choose cotton candy as dessert. If anything, I think we now understand why Lulu's is considered to be the hippest restaurant in Coachella Valley. Just from start to finish, it was definitely a dining experience. And I'm really glad that we were able to visit it. When we were walking into the restaurant, one of the things that I noticed was that they have a fantastic outdoor space. There's twinkle lights, rainbow chairs. It's a great energy outside. So if you're not comfortable sitting inside for a restaurant, they have a great outdoor area. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that we were able to inspire you to get back out there when you're ready. We had such a great time exploring the city of Palm Springs. And if you have any exciting travel plans, let us know in the comments below. And for more information on LGBTQ travel destinations, check out outtraveler.com.